Hey everyone, okay, what I have here is a 1.1.3 iPod Touch. It is not jailbroken yet, and we are about to do that. So first of all, open up the, uh, the uh, downgrade from 1.1.3 to 1.1.1. Open the folder, click on this icon here, and open up the readme file. And it explains how to uh, enter this code. Basically you type in uh, enter recovery, press enter, then you type in file copy to iPhone in this long um, bunch of digits. Make sure that you type the capitals where there's capitals and spaces where there's spaces. After you type the DFU, press enter, then you type in CMD space go enter. Okay so first I typed in enter recovery and I pressed enter and it um, shows my iPod like this so it's in recovery mode so now I'm gonna type in that really long one so okay so I've typed in this long thing at the bottom here and I press enter and then I type in last one okay for last one I typed in CMD go press enter And now I'm done. So I can exit out of this program and I will open up iTunes. Now it's asking me I need to restore it. Just click OK. Okay, so yeah, you click Shift, hold down Shift and click Restore. Now it's going to ask you what you want to restore it to. And if you downloaded the 1.1.1 firmware, which I'll have in the description. Um, let's see here. You just find it wherever you saved it to. So here it is. Click open. And now it's going to start um, putting on 1.1.1 from 1.1.3. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, now iTunes has uh, turned my iPod into 1.1.1. The original, so now you just go to you, uh, Safari, type in jailbreakme.com, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and click install app snap. Now it'll start downloading and extracting, and it's a pretty quick jailbreak. Now you have the installer right there. But now we want to upgrade it to 1.1.2. So, okay, now the installer is installed. Just click on it. And it's going to load a little bit here. And just say donate, donate later. Um, first thing you're, wanna, you're going to want to do is go to install. Go to all packages. And then search for um, community sources you're going to find that under install. You make sure to do that before you do anything else. Once you install community sources, um, then you come down to uh, tweaks 1.1.1. Go down to the bottom where Octo Octoprep is. Click Octoprep. Install. Click install. And now you are able to upgrade to 1.1.2. Now that your iPod um, has Octoprep on it, come up here and instead of clicking Restore like last time, do not click that. Make sure to click Shift Update. So Shift click and then click Update. Now it's going to ask you to uh, pick your file again. Just come down here and click on 1.1.2 that you downloaded. And now it's going to install 1.1.2 in which we can jailbreak it afterward. Okay, once that's finished, your iPhone is going to look like this. Um, it's just 1.1.2, as you can see up here. It's 1.1.2. It doesn't have the installer anymore, but we're going to fix that. So what we're going to do now is exit out of iTunes. And then we're going to want to get rid of all <coughs> of the iTunes uh, processes that are going on. So go into your task manager, find anything that has to do with iTunes, and end it. Now we're going to go into the uh, 
Windows, it's a BAT file, just double click it and it'll ask you to jailbreak it, just click jailbreak. Now it's going to jailbreak it and I'll come back afterwards. Okay, it's done and it should say this, done, your device will automatically reboot a couple of times. Let's open up iBricker. This is the folder that, that um, will upgrade to 1.1.3. And we come back down here. And there you go. We have installer with 1.1.2. So that's jailbroken now. Now we can go into uh, the iBricker. Click this iBricker. It's the application. Bring it up. And basically just follow the instructions from here. And I'll be back. Okay, so it did its thing or whatever. And, um,. I already downloaded this file, so I'm just going to click Find 1.1.3 on disk. And now it's just going to start extracting and jailbreaking it. Okay, when it's done installing iBreaker, you get this page here. And it's going to ask you to install 1.1.3 soft upgrade package. And before we can do this, we're going to have to go to the iPod go to the installer click on sources in the bottom right corner go to edit add now you're going to type in installer dot i clarifier I clarified dot com click OK okay first we're going to come into the all packages and you want to find the um, BSD sub subsystem Okay, BS BSD subsystem, install it, And now we're going to try and find the 1.1.3 soft upgrade. So we're going to come back into the installer once this is finished. And um, we're going to come down to iClarified. Come down to the bottom here and it says soft 1.1.3 jailbreak. Click that, click install. and this will actually take a little while so you just let that go and it should be finished after that okay after installing the um, 1.1.3 soft upgrade package um, it rebooted my iPod and now I'm in installer and I'm adding a new source um, this will be in the uh, side it's the um, oscarwoo1991.googlepages.com slash iphoneapps.xml and this is basically the iPhone apps for your iPod Touch and that's pretty much it after installing the uh, iPhone apps you're going to come into install here and click this one um, and then click the top install it and this will install all the uh, applications that you had to before you had to pay for um, so when you go back there you go now you have all the apps and when you hold down a button they all wiggle and you can move them around so there you go